Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for radiology part 6. In the current session, we will be focusing on guidance. Now coming to guidance, the guidance is of two types, ultrasonic guidance and radiologic guidance. The radiologic guidance is again further subcategorized into fluoroscopic guidance, computed tomography guidance, guidance magnetic resonance imaging guidance. So in the current session, we will be discussing in detail about each CPT of ultrasonic guidance and radiologic guidance. Now first coming to ultrasonic guidance procedures. The first CPT is 76932. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for endomyocardial biopsy, imaging, supervision and interpretation. The next CPT is 76936. It deals with ultrasound guided compression repair of arterial pseudoneurysm or arteriovenous fistulae. The next is plus 76937. The plus symbol indicates it is an add-on code and should not be used alone. Plus 76937, it deals with ultrasound guidance for vascular access requiring ultrasound evaluation of potential access sites documentation of selected vessel patency, concurrent real-time ultrasound visualization of the vascular needle entry with permanent recording and reporting. Now let us discuss an example. 56 years old patient who has been admitted requires a tunneled CV catheter insertion. The physician uses ultrasonic guidance to perform the insertion. And the physician documented vessel patency and that permanent recordings are in patient's record. What CPT codes are reported for physician services? So before analyzing any question, we must look for the key terms. So what are the key terms in this particular question? First, we must look for the age of the patient. The patient is 56 years old and he is admitted for tunneled CV catheter insertion. So CV, whether it is tunneled or non-tunneled, we have to consider. Here in this case, it is tunneled. And the physician uses ultrasonic guidance to perform the insertion. So the appropriate CPTs are 36558, which is nothing but insertion of tunneled, centrally inserted, central venous catheter without subcutaneous port or pump, age 5 years or older. Additionally, the physician is using ultrasonic guidance. For that, we have to use add-on code plus 76937, which is nothing but ultrasound guidance for vascular access requiring ultrasound evaluation of the potential access sites. Additionally, documentation of selected vessel patency. Here, if you see in this question, we can see the physician documented vessel patency. So, whenever we report 76937, we must look for documented vessel patency and concurrent real-time ultrasound visualization of vascular needle entry with permanent recordings and reporting. Additionally, 26 modifier is appended to this CPT 76937 to report professional component. Now coming to some more ultrasonic guidance procedure. The next CPT is 76940. 76940, it deals with ultrasonic guidance for and monitoring of parenchymal tissue ablation. Next is 76941. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for intrauterine fetal transfusion or chordosynthesis imaging supervision and interpretation. Next is 76942. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for needle placement. Example biopsy, aspiration, injection and localization of the device including imaging, supervision and interpretation. Some more CPTs are 76945. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for chorionic villus sampling, imaging, supervision and interpretation. 76946. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for 
amniocentesis, image supervision and interpretation. Next is 76948. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for aspiration of ova. Ultrasonic guidance for aspiration of ova, imaging supervision and interpretation. Next is 76965. It deals with ultrasonic guidance for interstitial radio element application. Now coming to radiologic guidance. As we have discussed earlier, the radiologic guidance is again further subcategorized into three types. Fluoroscopic guidance, computed tomography guidance and magnetic resonance imaging guidance. Now first coming to CPTs of fluoroscopic guidance. The first CPT is plus 77011. All the fluoroscopic guidance CPTs are add-on codes. That is, they should not be used alone. They should be used in conjunction with other primary procedure. Hence, they are indicated with a plus symbol. So, the first code is plus 77001. It deals with fluoroscopic guidance for central venous axis device placement, replacement or removal. Central venous axis device placement, replacement or removal. The next code is plus 77002. It deals with fluoroscopic guidance for needle placement. That is nothing but biopsy, aspiration, injection, localization of device. The next is plus 77003. Fluoroscopic guidance and localization of needle or catheter tip of spine or paraspinous diagnostic or therapeutic injection procedures, which is nothing but epidural or subarachinoid. So, these are the various fluoroscopic guidance CPTs. Now, let us discuss an example. Here, the patient is a 63-year-old gentleman diagnosed with rectal cancer who had resection of cancer performed. He now presents to have a port A cat, which is nothing but a central venous axis device inserted for post-operative adjuvant ther therapy. An 18 gauge needle, introducer needle was inserted into the left subclavian vein through which a soft tipped guide wire was inserted into the superior vena cava under fluoroscopy. Here the key terms are given with underlining and bold text. Next is a subcutaneous pouch in the anterior part of the chest was created. A subcutaneous pouch in the anterior part of the chest was created for the port. Here port is also important. And the sheet was passed over the wire into the superior vena cava under fluoroscopic guidance. The catheter was passed through the sheet and the port was applied with good venous return. What CPT codes are reported? So, what are the key terms that must be looked into before coming to a conclusion? The first is age of the patient. The patient is 63 years old. And here he presents to have a central venous axis device. And a 18 gauge introducer needle was inserted. Next is the dilator and introducer sheet were passed over the wire into the superior vena cava under fluoroscopic guidance. And similarly the catheter was then tunneled. So these are the key terms. Age, central venous axis device, introducer needle, under fluoroscopy, tunneled catheter. Now, the appropriate CPT code is 36561. Insertion of tunneled centrally inserted central venous axis device with subcutaneous port. Previously, we have discussed port is also important. So, the CPT is 36561, insertion of tunneled centrally inserted central venous axis device with subcutaneous port, 
age, five years or older. Additionally, under fluoroscopic guidance, fluoroscopic guidance is used. For that, you have to use add-on code plus 77001. Fluoroscopic guidance for central venous axis device. Placement, replacement or removal. And 26 modifier is appended to 77011 to report professional component. Now coming to next radiological guidance which is nothing but computed tomography guidance. The CPTs are as follows. The first one is 77011. It deals with computed tomography guidance for stereotactic localization. The next CPT is 77012. It deals with computed tomography guidance for needle placement, radiological supervision and interpretation. Next is 77013. It deals with computed tomographic guidance for and monitoring of parenchymal tissue ablation. And finally, 77014. It deals with computed tomography guidance for placement of radiation therapy fields. Now, look, let us look at an example. 66 year old male with a history of anemia presents for liver core biopsy. To evaluate for possible cirrhosis, the patient was brought to the CAT scan suit in which limited CT images of the upper abdomen were performed for biopsy needle placement. Limited CT images of the upper abdomen were performed for biopsy needle placement. Appropriate site for liver, liver core biopsy was chosen. The patient's skin was then marked with the computer coordinates. An 18 gauge needle was advanced into the appropriate site and sample was obtained. What CPT codes are reported? So here limited CT images of the upper abdomen were performed for biopsy needle placement. So the primary procedure is biopsy and CT is additionally used to find site for biopsy. So the first CPT should be 47000 which is nothing but biopsy of liver, needle and percutaneous. Here biopsy is needle, the type is needle and it is done through skin. Hence biopsy of liver, needle, percutaneous. If you see under this code, you will find a note if imaging guidance is performed C 76942, 77002, 77012 and 77021. Additionally here CT imaging is done. For that we must report 77012 computed tomography guidance for needle placement. Example biopsy, aspiration, injection, localization of device radiological supervision and interpretation. Additionally, modifier 26 should be appended to 77012 to report professional component. Now coming to magnetic resonance imaging guidance 77021 and 77022 are two CPTs. So the description of 77021 is magnetic resonance imaging guidance for needle placement, radiological supervision and interpretation. The next is 77022, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Guidance for and mon Monitoring of Parenchymal Tissue Ablation. By this, we complete the guidance topic in radiology. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.